Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome, dear students. Welcome you all to the online class organized by Dr. Kastavi Government Girls High School, Chattogram. I hope all of you are keeping very well doing your online classes. Besides this, you are also doing your regular classes in schools and enjoying your times. So today, I want to start a class for you. Before that, I want to introduce myself. It's Sabrina Islam, Assistant Teacher, English. So our today's class is on English for today. And this is for the students of class seven. And our today's part is from reading part. Okay, dear learners, let me introduce our today's lesson. All of you, look here. You can see a picture here. And in this picture, you can see some uh, people. One is a man. Then you can see a mother with her baby and a girl also. And she is playing. The father is also doing something. Maybe she, he is making his net. So dear learners, you can see here, uh, all these are, all these uh, people are enjoying their time in different ways. So our, our today's topic is about laser from unit six, and we will discuss two lessons from here, lesson one and lesson two. Dear girls, again, look here. What do you usually do when you get free time? I think you all know laser. For laser, you can also uh, say free time. So what do you usually do when you get free time? Look here. I have shown you five activities. Which one is your favorite? I think some of you like to read books and there are some of you who like to play games or draw pictures or listen to music. But you know there are other activities you may choose from them. Now we will see a boy's our uh, daily routine, his name is Jisha. And this is in your lesson one, unit six. All of you look here. Section A, read about Jisha's daily routine. You can see here, Jisha's routine uh, is made from 6.30 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. And there are many activities of Jisha. At 6.30, he wakes up at 7 a.m. He takes his breakfast, then goes to school, takes snacks and enjoy free time, then studies with math, science teacher, studies with English, social science teacher, then homework, supper, and watches TV. And at last, at 10.30 p.m., he goes to bed. And there are uh, some more things that he does on Fridays. On Fridays, Dishan does not go to school, but he studies one hour with his religious teachers. He also studies with his school subjects by himself. Often he goes to visit his visits with his parents. So dear learners, what uh, you understand from Dishan's daily routine. Let me discuss some points. All of you look here. There are three questions 
for you how much time that the son spend on his studies too much too little the right amount of time number 2 why do you think he spends too much too little the right amount of time on his studies and why do you think the son studies on fridays think about these questions and i think uh, you understand uh, and you have got these the answers of these questions i want to share you share with you the answers all of you look here i have written uh, the answers here what is written here jishan is a student of class 7 he spends from 8:30 am to 3 pm at his school a very long time you can see he also studies at home with his teachers next answer i think he spends too much time on his studies because he stays almost the whole day at school and coming back home he again studies with his teachers and the third answer i think jisan studies on fridays also because i know he studies with his religious teacher and other subject by himself on the day so all of you i think you have got the answers of these three questions now we have another exercise that is from your rsc book look at jisan's daily routine again and give your opinion about this statement what's the statement look here all work and no play will make jishan a dull boy i think all of you can do it all of you try to write something about this statement and give your own opinion what do you think is it true or false okay let me share the answer here for you according to jishan's daily routine he has no time to play i think you have noticed that he does not take any physical exercise without physical exercise and playing he cannot keep fit for further work so it's true that all work and no play will make jishan a dull boy Dear learners, I think you have got uh, this answer also and understood this. Now I want to uh, share another lesson with you. That is, laser unit six, lesson two, the next one. You can see here, uh, little children. Uh, are passing their time are enjoying their leisure uh, in a place maybe the place is a park you can see also other people they are walking uh, talking and enjoying their time let me show you what is there in this lesson lesson 2 there is a poem for you let's go through the poem what is there all of you you can see a picture here a girl also and there you can see uh, a lot of trees then a sheep and also a cow and maybe uh, the place is in a forest or forest area beside a forest okay let me read the poem what is this life if full of care we have no time to stand and stare no time to stand beneath the boughs and stare as long as sheep or cows no time to see when woods we pass where squirrels hide their nuts in grass no time to see in broad daylight streams full of stars like skies at night a poor life this is if full of cares we have no time to stand and stare
Okay, dear learners, you can see here the writer's name also, William Henry Davis. So here, in this uh, poem, you have, I think uh, you have got, you have noticed some uh, beautiful uh, name of some beautiful things. I want to share uh, these with you. So in section B, there is a uh, task for you. Make a list of the beautiful things the poet talks about in the poem. In, in this poem that uh, I have recited for you, you have got some uh, name of beautiful things. So what are these things? Okay, I want to show you uh, in this poem about those things. Look here, where squirrels hide their nuts. Here you have got you have heard, you have seen the name of squirrels, then nuts, then grass, and the no time to see in broad daylight. This is also a beautiful thing. Then it streams, stars, sky, all these things are so much beautiful that we get in our message. So look here, a list of the beautiful things the poet talks about in the poem are boughs, nuts, grass, squirrels, then broad daylight, streams, stars, sky, and night. Dear learners, here is a correction for you. Uh, this T will not be here, it will be stars. And here will be a comma. Okay, I am reading it again. A list of the few beautiful things. The poet talks about in the poem are boughs, nuts, grass, squirrels, broad daylight, streams, stars, sky, and night. Okay, dear learners, I think you have got this. You've understood this. Now, another task uh, is here for you. There are two questions. Write answers to these questions. First one, why does the poet think that we have no time to stand and stare? Number two, do you think people often do not have time to enjoy the beauty of nature? Give your reason. I have done uh, these answers for you. So all of you look here and try to understand so that you can also right from your own, using your own language. Okay, the first one, the poet thinks so because now these days we are always in a hurry. Our lives are going, to, going on as like a race. It's like a competition and there is no time to stop for a while. I think you all will agree with this one that I have shared for you. Again, look here. The poet thinks so because now these days, actually we are always uh, busy, we remain busy because our life is like a race. It's like a competition. We have no time to stay for a while. That's why it's true that we have no time to stand and stare about, the, about our surroundings, at our surroundings. Second one, do you think people often do not have time to enjoy the beauty of nature? Give your reasons. Okay, let me show you the answer, yes. I think people do not have time to enjoy the beauty of nature. To fulfill the demands, we have to run our lives faster than the previous generations. And for this reason, we do not get enough time to enjoy the beauty of nature. So I also think that human life is full of cares. 
they always have their duties and responsibilities. That's why they get less time. They spend less time to enjoy duties surrounding. So dear learners, I think you have understood these questions and you have done it also. Now it's time uh, to give you a homework. So I have given you uh, two activities from lesson one and lesson two. From lesson one, uh, like Dishan's daily routine, make your own daily routine and show your free time and the activities you do in that time. And the next one, suppose you are walking along a path through a wood. There are many beautiful trees and flowers on either side of the path. You can see that in this picture. What would you like to do then? Okay, try to answer these uh, two activities. Try to do this. One is make your own daily routine. And another one is write about your activities. When you uh, pass these types of uh, path, what would you like to do then? Okay, dear learners, that's all for today. All of you, thank you for attending the class. Allah Hafiz.